Hello everyone, welcome to another fan to play fantasy match preview. This is for the game between Johannesburg and Pretoria Capitals and we have Nikhil Bhai with us today to cover what looks like one of his favorite teams in terms of their batting JSK. He'll tell you more about who might work from that batting and which from the Pretoria bowlers is going to have a feast. Bilkul, I had a favorite tagline of mine which was Jai Matadi. Uh, JSK has come along and said Jai Shri Krishna. And that is what this is now. Uh, sorry to bring another another angle to this fantasy career, but that's how things are. Dwayne Pretoria's goal took wickets. Everything is happening around. But again, we'll not mess around in that sense. Jo hai wo hai. Uh, I think there is no other option to adapt because it is becoming a pattern everywhere. So hmm. we'll have to go ahead with possible key guys, jo key roles play kar rahe and you have to go with selection percentage at times because there is no other way out. You don't know who is using it, who is using it. So, the JSK has no attention to it because people are not playing. So, it is a select people. But from the other team, there are enough guys that you can try out. So, let's see. Yes, absolutely. That should be the case. And before we get to the venue conditions, ensure you hit the bell icon below so you get notifications of this video and also yeah. smash the like button. Now let's get to the venue conditions at Wanderers first up. So sir, how do you look at the game going at the Wanderers? First is, I will assume Johannesburg know that this is Johannesburg's home ground. So they should be able to see that we have made a basis on this team. So you will be able to see that they will be able to play Coming to us, understanding the conditions, the last game played here, as far as I think, is 2019. Which I can see in the app. Riza Hendricks had scored a 74. So that gives me a glimmer of hope. Okay, okay, it is possible. And in the last game, Jani Munawala had scored. So, there is a lot of hope. So, we will come back to practicality. Because it doesn't feel like that it can be made like this. JSK has been... It doesn't feel like it can be made like this. JSK has been like 40 for 4 for fun. So hopefully Vesa now. Uh, I'm sure Vesa may historically be dekhai, the venue is good to bat. You will always get good pace and bounce at most South African venues, unless it's Durbal Mini Bolsakta Kal Doso Marli. So generally pace and bounce of the runs bande sub jagape. Yes, very much possible. And like Nikhil Bhai mentioned, the last domestic game here was in 2019, but we also had a few internationals and now that uh, we are talking about how pitch and venue conditions are changing rapidly, the last two internationals that happened here were the Pakistan South Africa ones, and the guys who took wickets and then were three left arm spinners George Linda, three wickets. The T20 before that, Mohammad Nawaz, two wickets. And in the same T20, Tabresh Shamzi, another two wickets. So, can you predict if the Wanderers will behave like the Wanderers, the, the pace and bounce that we know of it? You cannot say anything because we are seeing live how venue conditions are changing rapidly. The Durban team bat batted first, assuming slow conditions, and then they went and scored 200 on the same track. They played three spinners, but used only three overs of spin in total. So, you you can just never say. So, yes, that is... Uh, the thing is, you'll have to look at what comes to you live at that point in time. But apart from that, the typical behavior of what we know of Johannesburg over the years, it should be pace and bounce. But whether it will be... Is anyone's best guess? So let's get to the base team. And just just before we go to the base team, just to highlight, you see the team is also not within the conditions well. So it's yep. not just us or anybody else who's struggling with that. The teams are also struggling, or when again, it is also one of the reasons why they have these 10 options. Because if you have an art option, then if you have a pitch galat padi hai. So, then hurry up. You no don't have options only. Uh -huh. But because you know that you may read the conditions differently, so they are trying to use what is the best. So, it, is, it gives us some breathing space. Ke it is not us who are looking stupid, but uh, the teams who are there at the venue are also not able to at times read it well. So, kuch to ki yes, to kuch and honestly, honestly, the strategy for me was when in the first game I said, okay, Durban, in the second game I thought, okay, Durban has picked three spinners, they expected to turn, yeah. at least spin 10 over to karke jayegi. 
that was my yeah. thought process i picked all three spinners and then the spinners bowled just three overs so can you even make that assumption based on what the team is thinking that is that because that is the indicator that we generally use ki bhai team toss yeah. pe kya bol rahi hai what are what is the playing 11 that they are picking if they are leaving a spinner and taking a pacer means they expect that pace will work you can't make any of those assumptions when a team is going in with eight all rounders so yes it's yeah. that 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 sums it up for you anyway in the keeping section we have gone with ferrera <laughs> and salt and uh, ferrera played one good knock but if you feel like the top order will work maybe you can leave him because we saw yeah. that riza is being used as the first off spinner and the second off spinner is ferrera so yeah. yeah and in the batting we have gone with will jacks uh, fab duplessy riley rousseau and riza hendrix so riza and riley have not scored too many runs but because we are expecting a better batting deck we, it's difficult for you to leave any of those guys while in the all rounders we have gone with romario and wayne panel nikhil bhai i didn't ask you too much about the batting because we covered the key picks but i want to ask you one thing will you pick jimmy nisham on this track no okay <laughs> that, that's as clear as you wanted and keep in mind that pretoria dropped one bat, batting option as yeah. rather senun and mutusami is a batting all rounder and they went in for an extra pacer so obviously when you're doing that then nisham's overs get cut which we saw exactly in the last right. game so it becomes a fair leap and the so bowling, logic there there is the logic before uh, you get to make me queue that is the logic there yeah that's the logic and in the bowling we have gone with uh, andrik alzari and gerald kozzi so you can see we have gone in with raw pace in the section three guys who yeah. can click it up and should be able to get good bounce from this track so that rounds up the team for us and captain and vice captain we have gone with the two paces because we expecting pace and bounce but yeah. if you feel like you're not sure and if you feel like you don't know who to bank on then just go with the form batsman because that is the only other approach that you can take because there's no all-rounder also who's going to be giving you a reliable amount of overs bilkul to jaise bhi humne kaha dekho the first assumption is the runs banenge isi ke liye aap aur upar 6 jan dikh rahe hain aur woh 6 mein se bhi do to all-rounder hai do nahi teen all-rounder hai will that also bowls uh riza is the primary off spinner but yeah that na if friction is available then it makes a massive difference to gsk's fortunes as well because then we may not see riza or ferreira bowl so much so we'll hmm. see when uh friction is available and how he how chennai are going to uh, chennai bowl run thankfully sorry uh how super kings are going to use it so keep an eye on those things and i'll again say these are the best times to play two teams one is your select percentage these are the guys who are likely to do well and you pick them and then team 2 is the mini gel team where you can take whichever risk you want but invest in mini gels like that kyunki aise bhi hum aapko bol rahe hain ki game to mini gel ke liye best hai because the risk level now will standard for every asset in the video will be this only it's asset 20 pro max uh, no guarantee chala to sham tak nahi to chand tak that's the kind of surface that you are seeing so yes plenty of hints for you to still back your visualization and i guess good luck reading the conditions yes absolutely and while it's good luck to you in reading the conditions it's not like it's all lost because yes you have something in terms of hope and in the way that you can get around this whole conundrum yeah. and how is that it's just by participating with multiple teams and take part in the leaderboard because in that way you also get rewarded even on the days when your team is not in the rank 1 or on top rank 5 but that consistency will be rewarded to you in this leaderboard because if you are consistently yeah. even cracking the top 5 you will probably be one in the leaderboard so yeah, yeah if you are able to do that you are able to make 25 teams on fan to play then go ahead and do that because that will be the best way for you to neutralize this effect of random events by being able to make a few random teams at a lower cost so really? yes that is a way out app link is in the description and trust me yes. they let you join with a lot of bonus especially towards yeah. the lower half <laughs> of the deadline so keep that in mind and now let's get to the grand league options please sir take over so actually for this game i was confused with two jsk batters for grand league options so that should tell you how batting friendly i feel this venue should be so i was confused between kyle and yaneman malan mm. now i'll probably go with uh, kyle if he's batting first because if there's any help in the deck up front then yaneman can get trapped in while if they're chasing i'll go with yaneman so that's my pick from jsk and my pick from pretoria again it's uh, subjective 
to availability is Kusal Mendes. Wow. Very interesting. No, no. It's not a lot. If you don't have Kusal Peak, you can't do anything about it. Grand League Kusal Mendes. I think if he gets over the 2-3 years of power play, then the bowling lineup of JSK should be down his alley. And Tikshana will be, he'll have some tricks up his ace to pick up Tikshana's bowling. Fair call, fair call. I think uh, from JSK, as I said, uh, we expect JSK to bat better. So, if uh, Malan ko aap nahi pick karo, to definitely pick karta hi. Kyunki, I think the animal, it's not that he's a bad batter. Sometimes you just get into a trap and a particular time of bowling may get on top of you. Hmm. Which is why I also feel there is an outside chance that you can play with the left arm the left arm spinner, if I'm not wrong. So, the advantage that Linde, ta, Fortune, ko ta, Maharaj, ko ta, hmm. they will try it out. Now, again, this venue, pe, it's again down to the conditions. If spin venue, hai, he will benefit. If not, then he will not. So, that is something that you can figure out and bag Yaniman like that. Main bowling, se, phir bhi, I'm very interested. And I have a lot of time to see Gerald Kodsi. Uh, hmm. Exciting prospect. Love the way he took the two wickets in the last game as well. So I think he is my first pick because if he can start giving consistent performances up top uh, and JSK can use him well, then he'll ease the pressure on Joseph and the others. So I think he can get a little bit of a balance in the So that is from JSK. From Pretoria, I'm hoping to see a little bit of his. I think he's got a lot of time. So, uh, besides that, Riley Russo hasn't come off yet. Now, there is George Garten at the other end, who is left arm a trouble karta hai unko. But if he is able to see it off, I am expecting a good score from Riley very soon. Right, so we have uh, gone out with the batting there. So, hopefully, it's yeah. a good batting deck. And yes. Uh, yes, another key point to keep in mind, because we both are backing Milan, is that if Muthuswami doesn't play, the first spinner he's going to tackle is probably after the power play in Rashid. So that should be something that should provide him some relief. But if you see that they bring in an extra spinner, then that is the way you can alter that combination, GL combination accordingly. So yeah. that wraps up our Grand League options for this one. You two tell us in the comments how many runs you think Milan will score in this one. And have a great game. All the good luck. Cheers, guys. <laughs>